One of the most prolific product producers at CES turned out to be Chinese computer giant Lenovo. The company unveiled more than 20 new products this year. Mark New talked with Lenovo's executive vice president, Jerry Smith, and began by asking him about the milestone that Lenovo hit at CES. Since 1992, when we launched the first ThinkPad 700, we've shipped 100 million ThinkPads. And, and the 100 million shipment was here this month in January. So very proud of that achievement. I think it shows how iconic the brand is of ThinkPad. It also shows, shows the success of Lenovo since the acquisition as well. Lenovo released more than 20 products at CES. Which are the ones that excite you most? The three that jump out to me are, number one is the X1 Carbon. The new one is, it's the best commercial notebook in the world. Number two is our Yoga 2 tablet. It's what we call any pen technology. Many times a user loses their stylus. You can actually write with any device that's conductive. A credit card, a pen. Uh, yesterday I used a carrot actually to even write on it and, and use the screen. But it's a, it's a tremendous you know, capability for, for, for users like myself who tend to, tend to lose a few things. The third thing is this is our thinnest and lightest consumer notebook with our NEC JV in Japan first time we're going to be introducing a product from Japan into the U.S. This is 1.74 pounds, thin and light, made out, made out of a magnesium lithium alloy, and it's by far the, feel if you would, you can't obviously see it, but it's the lightest notebook ever filled. If it feels like a, a mock-up, it's so light. But uh, we're going to bring it to the U.S. in May. And again, you know, the Lenovo's focused on innovation, and I think this is going to be a hit. Lenovo recently purchased Motorola. How do the two brands coexist together in the same market? Well, I think it's very, very complementary, actually. I mean, if you look at, it's, it's almost a similar game plan that we did in PCs. We acquired the iconic ThinkPad brand. I think that Motorola brand is one of the strongest brands in, in mature Western markets across the world. And so having the Motorola brand and, and the Motorola team's done a good job of, of growing and rebounding the business, it's going to be great for us in the U.S. They're number one in Brazil and Latin America. We're going to reintroduce the products into China. You're producing some of the similar products. So do you share information with each other, or do you say you do your product, we do our product? We're one family. I mean, there's different divisions, but you know, just as a family shares information, we're, we do the same thing within Lenovo. And I think it's you know, a little bit of competition between in different parts of the company is healthy. With respect to smartphones, Q3 2013 to 2014, Samsung, negative 8.2% growth. Apple, 16.1% growth. Lenovo, very good at 38% growth. But Xiaomi at 211.3% growth. I think all those competitors are strong competitors, but what we want to focus on is Lenovo. And so we did have positive premium growth in the marketplace. I think by bringing on Motorola, it gives us extra oomph and, and power to continue to power to a higher premium in the future. Why do you think Xiaomi has been able to do so well? Well, I think they have a, effect, a, a unique business model, and they, and they have very loyal customers. And I think Lenovo has the same. And I, what we need to do is, I think we're, you know, we have different routes to market, and the same game plan we use with great operational focus, great innovation, the right team and the right business model, we want in PCs, we can do the same thing in mobility as well. Lenovo recently acquired IBM's server business, propelling it into the enterprise industry. How does this fit into Lenovo's strategy? It works excited because now we're the third largest player in the marketplace. We have the scale we need. We have a full portfolio. And to be honest, it's almost repeating the playbook on PCs. So we're buying, we bought a second division from IBM. We know a lot of the people. We know the, uh, where to go focus on. We've got to go fix the supply chain. We've got a great team behind that to do that. We've got to go drive cost out. The key is we already have a great product portfolio now. And when we just had Lenovo products, we had only entry-level uh, tower and racks. Now we have from top to bottom, from the data center to the cloud to the small and medium business, we have full coverage. Now the key right now in the server business is go get it growing again, and that's where we're putting our focus on.